Hello, this is Shaquille with Finale Inventory. In this short video demonstration, we'll be discussing how Finale Inventory handles e-commerce kits and bundles. Kits and bundles would be described as product SKUs that are comprised of more than one product. Think of kits and bundles, a number of advantages come to mind for selling products in this way. You can increase product exposure across listings in different forms, like selling a smartphone with additional accessories like headphones. You can increase the customer's total cart size by including multiple products under one SKU as opposed to selling a bunch of items under individual SKUs, uh, which is less likely to occur because customers have to shop around for those different items. Additionally, you can create more competitive pricing or advantageous pricing by leveraging the ability to sell several items at a unique price point due to the savings on things like shipping costs, among other things. Now that we've talked about some of the advantages that come along with selling products in this way, let's talk about how Finale allows us to leverage that concept. Here I have my nut butter products and I have four individual nut butter types, my cashew butter, almond butter, pecan butter, and my peanut butter. And I have a nut butter pack. This variety pack comprises each of these particular products. I don't wanna sell each individual item. I wanna sell a bundle or a kit of those items. So let's talk about how Finale lets us do that. So I'm going to click inside of the nut butter variety pack product. We're gonna define what this variety pack product is actually composed of. So here under our bill of materials section, we're gonna make sure that it's set to always expand bill of materials and we're gonna add each line item for this variety pack. So I'm gonna add my cashew butter here. I'm gonna add my almond butter pecan butter, and lastly, I'm going to add my peanut butter. I'm going to indicate what quantity amounts this variety pack is composed of. And here, since I have 10 of each of these items, Finale is indicating that we can actually make 10 nut butter packs because we have 10 of each of these items. I'm going to save changes here. And now we're going to create an order in ShipStation and import that down using this product SKU so we can see how Finale leverages the expanded bill of materials to make fulfilling these kinds of bundles and kits seamlessly and easily. This is my demo order that I created in ShipStation so that I can pull down this bundle kit SKU and demonstrate how Finale will expand this item into the multiple items within that SKU on the sales order level for easy fulfillment. Let's take a look at how that looks like in Finale. Okay, now that we've synced down our order from ShipStation, we can see that there are a couple changes here in Finale. We can see that we have some reservations against our single products, but no reservation against our variety pack, which is the SKU that we actually sold the product on. Let's take a look at why that's happening. So when we open this up, we can see that we have a sale reservation for our bundle test order that we created in ShipStation. Now let's take a look at how it looks like on our selling side. The sales order, that bundle test item, we can see that the variety pack SKU was sold, but each individual bill of material for that, or for that product was actually pulled down on the order level. Let's fulfill this order and we can see how our stock is decremented correctly across these products. Okay, here we are in ShipStation again with our bundle test order that we created to demonstrate the nut butter variety pack and our expanded bill of materials for kits and bundles in Finale Inventory. I'm gonna fulfill this order and we're gonna see how our stock is decremented when that order is marked completed. So I'm not gonna create a label for this order. I am just going to mark it as ship, which is gonna be the same process. So here's that bundle test order and I'm going to mark this as ship. I'm going to select my carrier. Now that order has been marked, shipped, and completed. And we're going to take a look in Finale and see how that order now looks. You can see that now my remaining units are reflecting that I have nine units instead of 10. And my quantity on hand numbers are also reflecting that I have nine units. But this ends our demonstration of how Finale handles e-commerce kits and bundles. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at service at finaleinventory.com and we'd be happy to help.